Hi guys, this video is just an extension to conditional probability, giving you a few more examples of um, how to solve it. Uh, hopefully these three help you. Uh, at a school classified as a musical school for excellence, uh, the probability that a student elects to study music and physics. Okay, so the probability of music intersection physics. So it's both of those two is 0 0.2. So we're looking at probability in decimal form. Um, then the probability that a student makes takes music is, so the probability of just music is 0 0.92, or just music in general. What is the probability uh, that a student takes physics given that the student is taking music? Okay, so remember the so we're wanting uh, the probability of physics given they take music, okay? Um, so the formula is going to be then M, it's the two combined, okay? The intersection of that uh, divided by uh, the probability of M. And so if we put that into our calculator, Okay, so we're looking at 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.92. We end up getting the, and we want two decimal places. Uh, we're going to have 0 0.22 as the answer. All right, so next question. Uh, we're looking at a medical degree requires applicants to participate in two tests, an aptitude test and an emotional maturity test. This year, 52% passed the aptitude test and 30% passed both tests. So if we're looking at um, aptitude and maturity, uh, we're looking at 30%. Okay, so I might put zero, uh, point 0.3 as the answer for that. And then the probability for just the aptitude is 0.52 or the, in decimal form. So use the conditional probability formula to calculate the probability correct to two decimal places that a student who passed the aptitude test also passed the emotional maturity test. So there's a, a, there's a given uh, circumstance here, okay? Uh, ooh, so hold on, sorry, not M, make it an E, okay? Um, so we're looking at the probability of, uh, probability of E, the emotional test given that they passed the aptitude test, okay? And in this case here, it's going to be A intersection E divided by the probability of the aptitude, which is just A. And in this case, it's going to be 0 0.3 divided by 0 0.52. And if you put that in your calculators, you end up getting uh, 0 0.58 if we're rounding to two decimal places. Okay. All right. Last one. Uh, probability that a student is well and misses a work shift the night before the exam is 0 0.045. So let's say uh, well, so probability is well and uh, miss, so M for miss, okay, is 0 0.045. And then while the probability that the student misses a work shift, so M for missing, is 0 0.05. What is the probability that a student is well, given they miss a work shift the night before the exam? Okay, so what is the probability of being well given that they miss um, as well? All right, so we've got the intersection. So W intersection M 
divided by just m is going to be 0 0.045 divided by 0 0.05. Put that in your calculator. Becomes 0 0.9 as the probability. Awesome. So hopefully that helps you. Um, let me know if you have any questions. See you in the next one.